finally we can do this. <laughs> Before Christopher Nolan saved Batman from nipples, raves, and ice puns, <laughs> Tim Burton had to save him from this. Save him. <laughs> you know you're That's all people well, knew at the time. Butter sandwiches it is. <laughs> reboot. Quick to the reboot mobile. <laughs> Batman. <sighs> I love this one. The bad part of Batman, pretty literally, as one man wages a war against crime in an awesome-looking bat suit and a severely limited range of <laughs> severely. <laughs> wow, that is stiff. Can you even stiff. hear that thing? Say what you want about Adam West, but at least he was able to move. <laughs> Witness one of the best superhero castings of all time in Michael Keaton, a man so perfect for the role, his eyebrows are shaped like a <laughs> He's a reclusive billionaire dressed like your 10th grade English teacher who's so unstable. Now you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get <laughs> it actually feels plausible he would pretend to be a bat and beat up poor people. <laughs> I think your friend Wayne is really screwed up. But the Batman can only be defined by his Joker, mm -hmm. and Jack Nicholson is the definitive Joker. Except for Heath Ledger, or if you're a Mark Hamill guy. And Leto looks kind of rad in Suicide Squad. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, Nicholson is kind of just doing the Cesar Romero impression. <laughs> You know what? Let's back this up. But the Batman on, can only be defined by his Joker, and Jack Nicholson is one of them. <laughs> Watch as Jack Nicholson plays himself. Jack. Jack. Until an accident transforms him into a slightly creepier version of himself, who laughs so slightly much creepier. he literally couldn't laugh anymore if he tried. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great laugh, though. I think he ran out of laughing gas. If you thought <laughs> Batman had a rule against killing, you were. <laughs> As this version of the character ditches beating up criminals and offers straight up murder. <laughs> he's a bad shot, though. Fans are ticked off he's got a gun in the new trailer? This Batman's a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are they using footage from Batman Returns, though? I'm not going to kill you. I thought it was just the first one. So suit up for the blockbuster <laughs> that seamlessly blended dark and gritty with camp that not only created the look, feel, and music that would define Batman for years to come. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. But set the pace for every comic book movie to follow mm. from trailer hype. The Batman trailer <laughs> may be better than the movie that follows it. To merchandising. From billboards to lunch boxes to frisbee. <laughs> to angry fanboy backlash before the movie is even released. <laughs> there was a controversy the when actor that. Michael Keaton mm -hmm. was cast to play Batman. In the comic, he's, he's six foot two ten. In fact, now that I think about it, this movie checked every box and break the <laughs> before there was even an internet. Let's see here. Change the origin. Uh huh. A controversial lead. <sighs> Killed the hero's main villain. Completely changed the, MCU the costume. Does, and the MCU does okay. that very well. I'm on a hot streak. Change the costume. To play a <laughs> hey, I got angry internet nerd bingo. Not anything? <laughs> Starring no. Battle Juice. Here's Joker. Mm -hmm. Bad girl's uncle <laughs> need to die a hero or live long enough to be recast in the sequel. <laughs> Jack Nicholson's buddy, uh, that Nicholson insisted be in the movie or he wouldn't do it. And seriously? Vicky Is that for Hale real? Screaming. <laughs> she did it very well. <laughs> there, there is a lot of Enough it. Enough yes. already. Batman Bertaz. Batman Bertaz. <laughs> okay, I've been trying to figure out what Joker <laughs> says here for 26 years. I'm of a mind, make some mookie. I have a mind, make some movie? I'm of a mind, make some mookie. I don't minds make the movie? <laughs> Ugh, this is gonna bug me forever. <laughs> so, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could do a Batman movie. Well, all right. I mean, I think Adam West is in his 60s now, but he could probably swing it. <laughs> Actually, sir, I was thinking probably. we could get Michael Keaton to play Batman. Oh, Mr. Mom? That might upset some <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, maybe that could be a thing. You know, people getting unreasonably angry about Batman casting use. Maybe that could be a thing for decades to come. That's right. I guess it'll get people talking. So what happens in this thing? So there's the 
this family, right? And they're about to get mugged by these bad guys in an alley. Oh, and Batman swoops in and stops them? No, Batman lets that part happen. <laughs> but later, once the mugging is over, that Batman part happen. pops out and scares the bad guys. Okay. And one of them shoots him in the chest and he pretends to be down, but he's actually okay. So then he pops out and he scares them again. So does he return <laughs> the stolen items to the family? No, sir, he doesn't. But he tells the bad guys, hey, tell your friends about me. And then he jumps off a building and leaves. Okay, so Batman doesn't stop the mugging, doesn't return the items, gets <laughs> shot, asks for free publicity, and runs away. That's right. Okay, I mean, interesting hero tactics, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else happens? Well, we're going to meet this organized crime <laughs> guy, Jack publicity. Napier, right? And he's going to end up being the Joker. Oh, very cool. And by the way, I was thinking we could get Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Oh, yeah, he's very good at acting. Yeah, he is, but I don't, you know, I don't think that'll be really necessary. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. So anyway, this Jack guy, he falls into a vat of chemicals, and that makes him even crazier than he already was. Oh, mm -hmm. going insane via chemicals is tight. Oh my god. <laughs> sir, did you fall into a vat oh of my chemicals? Gosh. Sir did, buddy. Doctors said it might lead to weird hallucinations, <laughs> but I haven't encountered anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Oh, great. So anyway, now Jack looks kind of like a clown, so that's going to so be this is all in his head? Forward. Oh, nice. Yeah, so he and that's why he looks like him boss, with glasses? And then kills another crime mm -hmm. guy with a hand buzzer that burns him alive. Oh, so how did he develop this deadly clown technology? Unclear. Oh, okay. Anyway, so meanwhile, Batman's developing a love interest. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, her name's Vicky Vale, and she's a reporter trying to figure out who Batman is. That's, oh, that seems like the worst person to date. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alfred gives her a bunch of wine and she gets super drunk and then Bruce, who's stone cold sober, sleeps with her. Oh, that's not okay. And then while she's asleep, stone he goes and sleeps upside down. Why? Oh, he's Batman. So he sleep upside down. He just, he can't help himself from sleeping like a bat in front of the person who's actively trying to figure out who Batman is. That's got a bat, you know? I mean, I guess. A very upside down post-coital bat. Batman. Oh, anyway, so Alfred tells Bruce, you know, that is a good woman she is good for you okay he's like there's a certain weight that lifts when she's around master mm -mm. wayne she's been there once and, drank a bunch and then batman slept with her yeah alfred really liked that that's so weird no it's not okay. <laughs> anyway so then joker starts poisoning the people of gotham through beauty and hygiene Ooh. products why does he want to kill people because he's mm -mm. the joker baby got it <laughs> one day joker's doing some collage work right what and he stumbles upon this picture of vicky collage Bale and work. becomes obsessed immediately immediately uh. just coincidentally becomes obsessed with the woman batman sleeping with after seeing a picture of her yes. that's what we're going with so he tricks her into going to this museum by pretending that bruce invited her there oh very diabolical oh yeah then him and some of his goons vandalize some artwork while listening to prince <laughs> a little less diabolical a little more teenage punkish <laughs> not very nice not very nice at all so then batman swoops in and saves Love that shot. Oh, wow 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 Wow. And then they have this crazy escape together, and Batman gets shot in the chest and pretends to be down, but he's actually okay. What? Again? <laughs> yeah, he does that again. All right. And then he brings Vicky back to his bad cave and explains that he's figured out how to fix Joker's poison thing. Why didn't he tell the police or something? Why wait? Well, he decided he wanted to tell this journalist he's hooking up with. But people are dying, right? <laughs> yeah. And so Actively. then Batman knocks her unconscious yeah. using some gas inside his cape or something. Why does he do that? Well, she had actually taken some pictures of him, so he needs to get that film rolled back which she was hiding inside her bra so batman drugs a woman and then while she's unconscious he fishes around in her bra that's right and <laughs> most people die while she's unconscious if she's the only person who's told oh yeah <laughs> and, 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 and batman is the hero of this movie. definitely and so the next day alfred definitely. convinces bruce that he should go tell vicky his mm -hmm. real identity because alfred's like really into this budding relationship so far he got her drunk slept with her knocked her unconscious and groped her yeah alfred thinks that's that's just what Bruce needs in his life. Whoa. Bruce goes over to her house and shoves her onto the couch and says, you're a real nice girl and I like you a lot, but for now, shut up. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think this guy's kind of a monster. <laughs> right here, he's a hero, and then Joker this is right. in with his goons. Oh no. Yeah, so Bruce confronts him and Joker pulls a gun. Uh-oh. And then the Joker's oh like, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What does that mean? Well, he says that's something he says to all his prey. Does he? No. Okay. <laughs> the only other prey he said no. that to were Bruce's parents, but so this way, Bruce can figure that out. Oh, right. all right. So then Bruce gets shot in the 
chest and pretends to be down, but he's actually okay. <laughs> Again? <laughs> That's like his one move. This time he has Again? a little metal tray under his shirt. That's just, how many times does that happen? <laughs> a lot. A lot. So then Joker's like, hey, never rub another man's rhubarb, and he runs away. Oh, oh God. What does that mean? <laughs> Granted, I don't even, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so anyway, then Joker goes on TV and announces he's having a big parade. Oh, wow. So I guess a bunch of cops will be there waiting <laughs> for him, huh? Nope. Oh, I guess they didn't hear about it. But then Joker has these big parade balloons that start spraying gas on everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, so now Batman's got to save the day. So what's he going to do? I mean, I assume Rupee someone and get shot in the chest again. Oh, he's going to fly in with this crazy I aircraft assume. called a Batwing. Oh, that actually sounds very cool. Oh, yeah, it's going to look so cool. He's going to take a little branding break in the middle of the fight. Understandable. So he tries to shoot Joker, but branding he misses, break. and then Joker takes out this really long pistol and shoots him out of the air. Oh, no. Yeah, and Batman crashes next to this big cathedral, and so Joker grabs Vicky and runs inside. Very serious. So now Batman's got to go up a bunch of stairs to get to the top. Doesn't he have, like, grappling hooks? Yeah, yeah but he's not going to use them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that works. <laughs> so he finally gets to the top, and he's got to fight some of Joker's goons. Uh -huh. How'd they get up there? Didn't Joker just randomly run into the cathedral? Yeah, unclear. So then they fight, and they fight, and Batman defeats them all. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh, amazing. And then eventually Joker's about to get away in a helicopter, and Batman's got to stop him. <laughs> Is that going to be hard to do? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, now Batman uses right. his grappling hook, and he shoots it onto Joker's leg and onto a gargoyle in a single shot. Well, how is that possible? Well, he's Batman, sir. Says so right here. <laughs> and so that's about it. What do you think? So well, right I mean, here. I think it sounds like an interesting movie, and if Michael <sighs> Keaton's a good Batman, we could have him do a couple of these. Great. And then, you know, maybe again in several decades, if bringing back older <laughs> characters becomes a massive trend or something. Why would that be a thing? Because <laughs> it is. Before he was swole, before he was existentially depressed, and before he was a cartoon. <laughs> Never leave the cave without him. He was a swole, existentially depressed, literal cartoon <laughs> in. Literal cartoon. Batman, the animated series. The best man, it's the best. Return to a time when pop culture wasn't oversaturated with superheroes. They sell t shirts of me. I've become a cliche. Animation still ruled after school. And dial up internet, give us a few precious minutes offline. <laughs> Who remembers these days, huh? Doesn't this? Huh. It took forever. And all that noise. Does anybody miss it? And spend some time with Kevin Conroy's iconic Bruce Wayne, an industrialist with the money of Tony Stark and the fashion sense of Dwight Schrute. <laughs> but when night falls, this punchaholic will become the Batman, the world's greatest detective, who's also the world's greatest ninja, <laughs> greatest hacker. I've accessed Gotham's electrical mainframe. There's another computer uplinked to this one. I'm tracing the link now. Greatest magician. <clears throat> You've got the makings of a great magician. And the greatest ventriloquist? When I studied with Zatara the magician, he taught me about ventriloquism. Wow, this Batman does a lot. <laughs> but does he dance? <laughs> dance. Ooh, man. <laughs> but this cape isn't crusading solo. He has a whole cave full of allies, like... Alfred Pennyworth, butler of Batman, but king of sick burns. Clayface is losing his integrity. I wasn't aware that he ever had any to begin with. Oh! <laughs> Robin, the boy wonder, <laughs> as in, boy, I wonder what screwed him up between this show and Titans. Uh, Yahoo! <laughs> Batgirl, a college kid whose relationship with bats is super creepy after you've seen the Killing Joke movie. Barbara, yeah. come in. You've grown. <laughs> and Commissioner Gordon, a humble civil servant, tormented by a billionaire psychopath, determined to drive him insane. Batman. Busy night. Helen, <laughs> get me. We need to talk. <laughs> Nick must make a comeback. <laughs> Come on, give him a break, Bats. We all know you're a ninja. You don't have to keep proving it to Grandpa Cop, oh all right? My God. Jeez. Together, they'll protect Gotham, a city trapped somewhere between 1932 and 1992. <laughs> a town where the crime is up, the nights are long, and the people are rectangles. <laughs> it's a city under siege from the best rogues gallery in animation history, yes. featuring character-defining portrayals of Two-Face, 
You're talking to the wrong Harvey. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. To never again walk on a summer's day with a hot wind in your face and a warm hand to hold. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, pleased to meet you. The best Joker ever. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and a bad menagerie's worth of animals. <laughs> Jeez, bad man. Maybe you should stick to something less threatening, like a penguin. Now, Alberta. <laughs> nice shot. I did it. <laughs> so light up the bat signal and revisit the highs. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. And the lows. You've made her a monster. I believe she would disagree. Of the darkest adaptation <laughs> of Batman ever made. Literally the darkest, because they drew it on black paper <laughs> that wasn't afraid to hit kids with complex philosophy. Santayana says that those who forget the past are condemned to repeat it. Then break it up with a guy kicking a werewolf in the face. <laughs> if it's a fight you're looking for, try starting one with me. CDC, that's all we want. A definitive portrait of a beloved character that balances multiple tones across dozens of hours that can only happen with a perfect creative team and lands at the perfect time in the cultural zeitgeist. Is that so hard? <laughs> Story. Is that so hard? Hygiene related insults. Listen up, scumwad. Here's how it works, slime ball. <laughs> All right, scum bucket. Too late, dirt bag. Breaking and entering. What do you want? <laughs> Professor Crane lost his appetite. <laughs> Who's back there? You. Just terrible marksmanship. <laughs> <laughs> Head. Maniacal laughter. <laughs> play face. Love play face. <laughs> Batman's O face. <gasps> <laughs> Gas attacks. Gas attacks. Many. Yeah, there are many of those. <laughs> Gotham City exploded. <laughs> Shooting you, lunatic! We're sitting on a powder keg! <laughs> and Batman thumbs up dot Jeff. Nope, the other one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> this Batman forever. There we go. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, we need to talk about the intro for a sec. Has anyone else noticed that the crooks are just two guys who happen to be walking past the bank at night? <laughs> then when the entrance explodes, they run away like any sane person would do? They don't even have any loot on them. Sure, fine, they pull guns on Batman. But for all they know, he's the psycho going around blowing up banks. Nah. And Batman doesn't know who did it either. He had to drive there. <laughs> but does that stop him from beating the crap out of him and leaving him for the cops without any evidence to convict him on? <laughs> this is why vigilantes are a bad idea, you guys. From the character who will be rebooted every few years until all movies are Batman comes all the movies. feature length version of the cartoon <laughs> that babysat an entire generation of latchkey nerds. Thank you, Bad Daddy. <laughs> Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Mm -hmm. You've seen the story of how Batman began. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Okay, once more for good measure. <laughs> I mean. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> No, yeah, no. I said enough! Nope. Now, strap in to learn the cost that Breaking Bat took on Bruce's soul. Because this cartoon is less about gadgets and beat-em-ups, and more about the scars of a man who took on an impossible burden. I didn't count on being happy. How much of this movie takes place in a graveyard? <laughs> Most of it. Fun. Most of it. <laughs> Enter the seedy underbelly of Gotham, where the skyscrapers are tall, and the world's fairs go ham. <laughs> 
<laughs> suit up Literally. With Batman, a collection of rectangles and feelings <laughs> as he takes on a new baddie, the Phantasm. I think they never actually say that loud. <laughs> They're a grim leaper with the power of atmospheric farts. <laughs> <laughs> Who uses their martial arts and crab claw to take yeah. out some of the oldest, fattest mobsters in Gotham? <laughs> Thrill as Batman rekindles an old flame yeah. in Andrea Beaumont, another Beaumont. classic entry in Bruce's We Are Too Damaged to Make It Work dating history, <laughs> even though they both share a love for jujitsu and dead parents. Who are you talking to? My mother. What would a Batman be without a Joker? Sounded like she was Unprofitable. crazy. So Mark Hamill shows up halfway through this one. Watch <laughs> his take fall somewhere between Heath Ledger's chaotic intensity, Cesar Romero's gentlemanly warning before he tries to blow you up. I'm sending you a fun gift, Airman. In five minutes, everything goes up. <laughs> You're not Batman after all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and Jared Leto's plausibility that he would be banging a robotic maid for fun. <laughs> you get in the mood and company shows up. <laughs> Come on, you really think they'd do the first animated Batman movie with an original villain? <laughs> we live in an infinite universe uh. with an infinite capacity for more Joker stuff. That's true. So return to the Art Deco nightmare of Paul Dini's Gotham for an animated classic that deserves to be at the top so of your awesome. best bad list by proving the best way to make Batman for adult audiences isn't with violence, even though the blood in this is pretty sick. <laughs> Or by porking bad girl for no good reason. Uh, I, I, Although I this still don't get that one. definitely f <laughs> But by pulling off what creators have been trying to do since the beginning, make a cool noir story about a guy who dresses like a bat that reflects on how sad it is that he can't stop doing so much awesome punching. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> very <laughs> sad. <laughs> Starring. <laughs> The Bachelor. The Bachelor. Fanta, Fanta. Don't you want a Fanta, Fanta? <laughs> you ever dance with the devil at the abandoned world stage? <laughs> Lord Business. Lord R. Business. R.I.P. Abe Vigoda. Fast and the Furious 6. <laughs> or was it 7 when they did that? <laughs> Zim's mom. Put a sock in the door, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> The ending of Hot uh, Fuzz oh, uh. and Bat Squins. <laughs> <laughs> Batman uh. Forever Alone. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Jeez, Mr. Saul, I can't tell the difference. It's identical down to Ben Franklin's stubble. Huh, this seems like the kind of thing the FBI could probably handle, rather than, you know, <laughs> a violent vigilante. Didn't realize Batman even had a white collar crime. <laughs> 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 Before he reaves, but before he rose, <laughs> and even before he and Robin, Batman <laughs> and returned Robin. in. It's it's Batman Returns, you guys. <laughs> After Tim Burton did Warner's a solid by making Batman cool again, they'll let him get his freak on in the sequel. With all the Burtonicities you know and love, <laughs> plus a dash of Frank Miller grit, a touch of Adam West silliness, and two scoops of the Batman <laughs> Triple X porn parody. Just the f you have been looking for. <laughs> Semi-hard, I'd say. I'd like to fill her void. Teach her my French flipper trick. Hey, creep. Children are watching this movie <laughs> about a violent billionaire who beats up poor people. <laughs> and by beats up, I mean kill. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> He'll be fine. You think this is a bad movie? He's just sleeping. Think again. <laughs> Because he is not in it very much. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer stars as Selena Kyle, a strong, confident woman, but only after a traumatic brain injury. And when her corpse gets bitten by a radioactive cat or something, <laughs> she'll become or, cat or woman. something. I am cat woman. <laughs> Hear me roar. An anti hero who loves licking, <laughs> lounging. And long drawn out gymnastics routines. <laughs> long drawn out. <laughs> Man, she's so good in this. Can we get a solo Catwoman movie, please? No, no, no. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Tired wait, 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 wait. Where the whole universe is at stake? Return to the glory days when heroes fought over what really matters. Local. Municipal. <laughs> politics. Watch Bruce Wayne engage in a proxy war over electing a new mayor who will grant a rival billionaire some construction permits or something? <laughs> We're gonna break ground. Something? We gotta break ground. I'll need permits. 
variances, tax incentives. I'm gonna fight you on this, and I've already spoken to the mayor. Oof. Almost makes you miss a sky beam. <laughs> the way the plot stumbles, the villain's personality shine. As Christopher Walken earns the title of cinema's second best Shrek, <laughs> and Danny DeVito brings a manic, unhinged fury to the penguin. <laughs> A mutant with a wide arsenal of umbrellas and an even wider arsenal of disturbing little grunt noises. <laughs> Are real penguins this? Nasty? <laughs> Did Morgan Freeman lie to us? There's gotta be some Batman in this Batman uh, movie somewhere. And when Bruce Wayne isn't snacking in front of a TV, yeah. cold, or begging the world to learn his secret identity, <laughs> begging, he'll hit the streets to bust some heads. Whether they're clowns, clowns on stilts, clowns with machine guns, or slowly advancing karate clowns, <laughs> no clown is safe. From Batman Vengeance. Wait, so let me get this straight. The penguin gets penguins and a clown army, and the Joker gets Bob? <laughs> I'm my number one. <laughs> That's fair. So suit up with the film that changed That's the fair. course of the Bat franchise. <sighs> By grossing out the sponsors so much, they gave the next two movies to Joel Schumacher, <laughs> the man everyone hates for making Batman too kinky. Down on the world. Too jokey. Eat floor. <laughs> High fiber. And just way too campy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he just didn't respect the source material, you know? Mm -hmm. Batman has always been serious business, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> serious business. Serious. Starring <laughs> The Bachelor. Uh, Cat Scratch Is he that one again? Love Bachelor. <laughs> the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> what a lie. Come on. <laughs> Wazzo. <Wow. Wow. laughs> Funeral March of the Penguins. A posse of uh, insane clowns. Mm -hmm. Adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> and who needs a cat woman when you got yourself a catty man? Uh, sometimes it's a diversion to read such rubbish. Most of the time it's a waste of time. Must you be the only lonely man beast in town? Shall we change the channel to a program with some dignity and class? I suppose you feel better now, sir. Great. I think I'll take the stairs. <laughs> May we RSVP? Not interested. Although, this Wayne Kyle might be there. <laughs> the dark nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> okay. Props to the actor playing Walken's son for doing a walk impression to his face. Bad goal, save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a new Batman movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I figure we call this one Batman Returns. Oh, did Batman go somewhere? No. Did he buy some clothes <laughs> in the wrong size? He might have, but no, he's just, he's back on the big screen. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. He's so at the beginning back. of the movie, yeah. we're gonna meet this couple called the Cobble Pots, right? Okay. And they don't like their newborn baby, so they try to drown him, just to leave him to die in the water. Oh, my God, we're starting the movie that way? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> McDonald's has to make Happy Meal toys out of this movie, right? Uh, yeah, that's not, they might not like this one too much. <laughs> this kid grows up and bites a guy's nose off. There's blood spewing everywhere. <laughs> Oh, no. Anyway, so this baby ends up being found by some sewer penguins, and so he grows up to be extremely penguin-like, because as you know, if an animal saves your life, you take on that animal's trait. <laughs> I do know that. Believe it or not, a couple of weeks ago, I had my life saved by a pigeon. Oh, wow, sir. Does that mean you can fly or something? <laughs> no, can't fly, unfortunately. But let me tell you, I've been pooping on a ton of cars. <laughs> oh, my God. So what else happens? Well, okay, well, there's this bad business guy mm -hmm. named Max Shrek, right? And what's his deal? Well, he wants to build this power plant that'll secretly suck up all of Gotham's power supply so then he'll control it. Why not just buy the current power plant then? <laughs> Unclear, but his secretary, Selena Kyle's gonna find out about the evil plan. Selena Kyle, huh? What's her deal? Oh, well, let me tell you, sir, she's got glasses on, so she's absolutely hideous. <laughs> and sounds like an unattractive loser. Yeah, for sure. And we find out that she's not married because of the glasses, 
Obviously. Obviously. And she has a cat that falls into her sink. Uh, and she gives it a bowl of milk and therefore probably some diarrhea, I'm going to say. <laughs> so since she finds out about Shrek's plan, he pushes her out of his office window and she falls like 25 stories. Oh, so she yeah. dies? Momentarily, yeah. But then a bunch of cats lick her and nibble on her fingers, so she's fine now. <laughs> her life-saving cat fine. saliva is tight. It sure is, sir. So then she goes home and she starts behaving like uh. a cat since, you know, cats saved her life. I totally understand. My poop comes out white now. So she starts to drink milk like a cat. She starts destroying everything like a cat. She starts working on her sewing machine like a cat. Cats are notorious for their sewing skills. They are. And also, she removes her glasses. Oh, she's now hot now. Yeah, now she's hot. She and Max Shrek is going to be shocked that she oh. turns up alive to work. Can you push someone out of his office window and then not look into the dead body situation at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Hey, wait, is Batman in this movie? Oh, he is actually, yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay, great. It would be good if bit. he was in it. Yeah, like Penguin's going to do this attack on <sighs> Gotham, right? And Batman's going to get the bat signal about it right into his house. In his house? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he has like a system of mirrors set up so it shines directly into his house. Wouldn't that make it extremely easy to figure out who Batman is? Maybe. <laughs> so he gets the signal and gets into his Batmobile and drives into the city to burn a guy alive. <laughs> oh, my God. Because yeah, see, the thing about Batman as a character is that he loves to kill. But later, he's going to be thrilled to strap a bomb to a bad guy and have him explode to death. Huh, I never knew how much Batman loved to kill. You can't get enough of it. Wow, wow, wow. So anyway, <laughs> Penguin's gonna end up blackmailing Max Shrek, so now they're gonna work together. Work on what? Well, first of all, they're gonna improve Penguin's public image, because people see him as a sewer monster. How do they do that? <laughs> well, they stage this thing where a baby gets taken into an open sewer, right? But then he emerges on this lift system and makes it seem like he saved the baby. The fact that he was ready to go with a lift inside an open sewer <laughs> didn't raise any red flags for anyone? Nope, so now he's a hero and everybody likes him. Just well, like okay that. then. So now Max Shrek decides it'd be good to make this Penguin guy mayor of the city. What? Yeah, cause that would help with his building permits to have a guy on the inside. So he lures him with a fish and shows him some <laughs> campaign offices he set up. And that's when Penguin bites a guy's nose off. So the plan is to make the violent yes. fish and nose-eating sewer guy mayor? That's what they're going with. That makes sense. And then also <laughs> Catwoman wants to team up with Penguin to take down Batman. Oh, okay, gotcha. So what do they do? Well, Penguin kills this ice princess lady and then frames Batman for it. Oh, no. Yeah, and then also using the blueprints to the Batmobile, his goons hack it and so he takes control of it for a little while. How'd they get blueprints for the Batmobile? Unclear. Oh, okay. And so what does Penguin want exactly? Yeah, well, he sets this plan into motion where he's going to kidnap all the firstborns of wealthy families in Gotham. Oh, man, it's going to be hard for Batman to stop that. Actually, it's going to be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because he just has them loaded onto this super slow-moving train thing, so Batman just stops that, and that's all <laughs> over. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so that's all done and taken care of, but now Penguin wants to blow up the city with a bunch of penguins he controls that have rockets strapped to them. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to stop that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, Alfred manages to reverse the signal, so they just turn around. How does Alfred manage that? <laughs> Technology, I suppose. So that's all done. That works. And then Technology. there's gonna be this big showdown, and all the main characters are gonna be there. Oh boy. And Penguin's gonna, like, fall into some toxic waste, and Catwoman's gonna wanna kill Shrek, but Batman Batman's gonna stop her. Oh, is he suddenly not into killing? Yeah, he's suddenly not into killing anymore. So he's like, let's just send Shrek to jail. And then he rips off his mask and also somehow his eye makeup. He's <laughs> revealing his secret identity in front of Shrek if he doesn't plan on killing him. Well, cause he's trying to have a moment with Catwoman by revealing his identity to her. Now she already <laughs> knows his identity, but Okay. So then Shrek <laughs> shoots both of them, but he's Batman, so he doesn't die. Of course. And what about Catwoman? Well, sir, she has nine lives because some cats licked her in an alley earlier, remember? <laughs> right, that's true. So then she electrocutes herself <laughs> and Shrek. Oh, a very electric cat person. And then Penguin pops out again, but then dies immediately. Mm. So some penguins have a little funeral procession for him. Weird that they know how to do that. <laughs> very weird. And then it's going to turn out that Catwoman's still alive. Oh, she still has a life left. She did. Uh -huh. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like a great movie, but did Batman ever get cleared? for the murder of that ice princess? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I did forget about that. So, yeah, he's definitely still wanted for murder. <laughs> uh, whoops. Whoopsie. We'll tell you what, maybe we'll have an opportunity to close that plot hole in, like, I don't know, three decades or something. Yeah, I mean, if we feel like it. <laughs>